What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? You know it is by that lovely face on your screen there. Visit me at the Twitter with the out of focus, the YouTubes with all the channels, the bottom one's the main one. Uh, Instagram me, there I am, Mr. Warmack, and on the left, you know what channel it is. Today, I'm going to talk about something that everybody's been talking about lately in 2, 3, 1, bang. We're going to talk about this controversy. Now, there's been a controversy on Facebook, and uh, there's a couple groups I've been in as I've seen it myself. There was a picture posted uh, on Facebook about how this company made racist... Well, it wasn't posted here. The picture was of the, the black chick on the upper right, in the I mean, upper in the top row in the middle, the black chick by herself, and there was the white couple or Arab couple or Mediterranean couple on the left. Well, there was a picture that's floating around Facebook where there's it, it's, it's this is them selling, and meanwhile the, the one of them's I think one of them's like five dollars less. I want to say the the black chicks. Uh, product, what is it? their baby carriers for the front of a, for a woman, like newborns, I guess. And what happened was there was a pic, the two pictures, the upper upper left and the middle of the top picture, the black chick and the picture of on her left with the couple, basically the only couple there, the couple and the black chick. Okay, we got that figured out. And the uproar was, well, this is racist. How can a company do this? And what it was is a lot of race baiters. And let me explain this. It wasn't in one group. I've, I'm in a lot of groups on Facebook. I've seen this in a lot of my groups on Facebook. And what it was is a couple people were race. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Maybe they, it looks like to me it was race baiting. And what happened was a lot of black people got behind this and said, this is racist. This is that. You know, the, they would ask, what's the first thing you notice? And I'm like, look, man, I noticed it was five bucks less. That's the one I'm getting. But uh, there's a lot of race baiting going on amongst black people. And this is the unspoken topic. They want to get mad at me. So what I've done, and I knew I was going to catch back, backlash, and I am catching backlash. What I did is I posted this picture in one of my groups. And I, what I told them is... I just did five, ten minute little research. I got the picture and I put it up in the group. I said, All you got to do is do the research. I said, I don't go on what somebody says. I, you got to be outside of somebody who's been a, if somebody's been a consistent fact teller, I can go with what they say. If, if you're known to be telling the truth and all the time you're telling the truth, I can pretty much ride with that as, as long as it sounds credible. But if it's somebody who I don't know that well or somebody who just, I just met recently, I will check it out. And on the internet, I check damn near everything out. So I checked this out, and I looked at this, and I said, well, they don't just sell just those two types of products. They sell more products. And uh, being, uh, here's, what, here's what critical thinking, I, and I talk to you people about critical thinking. And here's what critical thinking will do for you. I start thinking to myself, well, maybe that's all they had in the store. Maybe those are the two products that were left. Maybe the person just had a camera in the position to make it look like that. But maybe the person just, you know, made a mistake. And I can clearly see that. But the problem was, people were running with the ball, going down the race road. And what I did is, I just put the picture up, I put the truth out. And people were saying, well, I could have done it better, and this and that. Well, somebody, somebody said I could have inboxed them. There was too many people to inbox, and it was in too many groups for me to go. I'm not going to go behind, like, there, I'd say there was at least over 5,000. At least I'm not going to go to 5,000 people in the inbox, 5,000 people. I can show you better than I can tell you. And I'm a known truth teller. I expose lies and I expose hypocrisy. That's what I do. And this is a lie and hypocrisy. The company is not racist. That's probably all they had on the shelves. And now people want to get mad. People want to get, feel a type of way. Well, they say, well, you could have handled it better. How could I handle it better? Go behind closed doors. Well, get them to retract the statement. The damage has been done. People were people were taking this serious, and what it is, it, it, it stereotypes black people as they don't do research. And we're not see when I get when I tell you about critical thinking, I get condemned for this. 
but it's okay to see a picture and then just go off go off with just a picture alone and that's okay in the community no what you got to do is i'm telling you people and, I, and, I, and a lot of people know i'm telling the truth on this because they tell me too you got to do your own research if something doesn't sound right Quit going with the status quo. Quit going because you want to fit in with everybody. Because let me tell you, at the end of the day, if you're trying to fit in with everybody, these people will not be your friends when it's crunch time. What you got to do is, and, and, and this, is, this, is a, this is a hard road to travel, you got to be a truth teller. You got to do what's right and just. Now, people are going to say, well, what's right and just to you? It's not what's right and just to me. I, it's like this. What I did is I put this information out. Now you can you can you can either reject it or respect it. That's one that's one of the two options you've got. If you reject it, well, other people are saying, well, "What are you rejecting it for?" It's, it's right in front of your face. The fact is, people don't like it because I am expo- and like people are saying. Well, this one quote was, you know, the white supremacist route. Well, I'm, I'm I'm confirming. I'm not confirming no white. I'm I'm confirming. See, here's, I, I, don't, I don't deal with race that much because you want to know why? I live in the real world. I know it's economics. And I made a video, and there's facts if you look it up on the Internet. All you can do is Google it, and everybody's going to say, well, not everything you believe is true on the Internet. You put shit on the Internet, is it true? You think it is? Well, if you look it up, by mainstreams, right wings, left wings, ec- economy has, be, has overtaken race as far as what Americans are worried about. They're not on that race stuff no more. You wanna know why? I'm sure there's a couple people on like race. I'm not not being uh, I'm not being, you know, unrealistic. I'm just saying the average American could give two shits about what race you are. What they want is they want their kids to go to school, get a college education, they want their kids to have a nice job, they want their kids to live better than what they did. They wanna have a nice retirement, they wanna live in a crime free neighborhood, they want the white picket fence with the with the dog and everything. They wanna live comfortably, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what it was is you got all these race baiters want to inject that race into it. And like I said, it's race baiters on blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asian. We all have race baiters in every race. What it is is when you start exposing this, now I'm looking like the demon because, well, I, like one person, I could handle it better. How am I going to handle it better? I put the information, everybody puts information, that's what you choose to believe. I was just mad at the fact that a lot of people rode the coattails of this and did not go and look it up. I could care less about who posts what. But I'm not gonna go behind. I'm not gonna go behind fucking a thousand people who posted and say, "Hey, man, this is this or lady, this X Y Z." No, you post what you post, and you get what you get. You feel that's your truth. That's your truth. I post what I post, and if it's the truth, it shames the devil. Now I'm not out here trying to get brownie points, but I, I, I wanted what I'm doing is I'm trying to show the people well, that's, that's fair and just what I'm doing. I'm not. Con- I didn't condemn anybody. I didn't. I, I, what I said is the people, the ignorance of the people is getting to be me. For me, it's getting me out of hand. If you don't want to do your research, that's on you. But don't get mad at me because I do the research. Whatever you tell me, I'm not going to believe it just because of what color we are. If it doesn't sound, look, man, you could tell me two cents equals a nickel. And I'm like, hold up, man. I'm like, a lot of black people will ride with you because you're black. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Two cents do not, does not equal a nickel. And then when you, what I'll get caught, I'll get caught a sellout, a coon. Why? Because I'm presenting you with facts. And that's what I, that's what I have time to worry about, facts. I don't worry about stuff that's non-factual. I don't worry about real unrealistic stuff. I don't worry about dreamland stuff. I worry about facts. And like I always say, if, if you fuck with facts, you fuck with me. But if you ain't fucking with facts, you can't fuck with me. I hate to use that language, but it, it's realistic. I'm not going to sit up here and BS the people and, th- you know, well, BS, I always said, fuck, so bullshit the people. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell you, I'm not going to sell you a, 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 a dream. The fact of the matter is the company was not racist. And and now what it is, is a lot of people are looking stupid right now because they hopped to the bandwagon. And like I said, it was damn near to the point it was race baiting. And, 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 and it's unfortunate it happened, but now you see, at, at the bottom line, at the end, at the least, at the least... The least common denominator of what I'm trying to get with you is look up stuff on your own. Do your own research. This way we won't have stuff like this because now we get uh, this, the stereotype is getting proved true. Whether it's tr- it's not true, uh, it's not true, but it's true. You know, it's one of them situations. We all know this is not true, the stereotype. But then when this happens, we give the people to say, ha, huh, it's true. They say that. And that's what people are looking at. People are, the problem with uh, some black people some black folks, they have a narrow focus. They're not looking at the bigger picture. They're thinking because the score is 40, we're losing 44 to 44 to 20. 
and we just scored a touchdown, and they want to celebrate in the end zone. I'm like, look, fucker, we still got to win the fucking game. Do you celebrating after you win the game? That's how I'm looking at it. People want to celebrate after they score a touchdown. I'm like, if you score a touchdown, you still lose. You still lost the game. So all I'm saying is people, at the, at the, the least common denominator you should get out of this video is do your own research. Don't worry about what other people are going to say. You want to know why? Because you'll be wrong whatever you do. You could be right, you could be wrong, you'll be indifferent. You're still going to be wrong in some people's eyes. So let the truth come out and you shame the devil. Alright, thanks. Have a good one. Peace.